what is the concept that you first must understand before starting to learn differential geometry? Why is this concept so important? Is it possible to skip this and go directly to learn differential geometry? What is the best and the easiest book available to learn this subject? Which book will give you the easiest, simplest, yet a profound understanding of this concept? Well, in this video, as you have rightly guessed from the thumbnail, I would be talking about curves and surfaces and tell you why it is a must read before starting to learn differential geometry. I'm also going to tell you which book you should read, how will you read and believe me, this is the best book which is available and what you will read, you will understand very easily. My name is Shaunak and you are watching this video on my channel Physics for Students. Welcome to the 18th lesson of this series in introducing differential geometry and we are talking about curves and surfaces and the best and the easiest book to start reading with. Well, as because we are learning and going into one book specifically, I have no table of contents to share. So my uh, first thing would be, I would let you understand why we need to learn curves. Before going into any kind of a mathematical concept, it is very important to learn that why do we learn are learning this and what is at all the importance that is very important. So in this part of the video, I would be telling why we need to learn curves and how it is important in our daily life. Now curves are ubiquitous in nature. You will find many objects in the real world that can be modeled as curves, such as the paths of planets, the trajectories, projectiles, age of crystals and many. Now imagine you're trying to draw a smiley face. The mouth of the smiley face is not a straight line, but as you can see, is it's a curve. So by studying curves, you can learn how to draw smooth and accurate curves for the mouth, making your smiley face look more realistic. In real life, we often encounter curves. For example, when you're throwing a ball in the air, its path follows a curve called a parabola. By studying the properties of this curve, we and the engineers can predict how the ball will go, how far and how long will it take to reach the highest point. Uh, well, another thing would be basically the essentials in computer graphics and animation. When you watch 3D animated movies or play a video game, the objects and characters on the screen are created using curves. These curves allow the artists and programmers to give shape and movements to the virtual world. Another example is the curves for roller coasters. Roller coasters are designed with curves that provide exciting and thrilling experience for riders. Engineers use mathematical principles to design these curves. So as you can see, these are some of the very simple examples. So we can say that studying curves helps us understand and manipulate shapes as predict the behavior of object, design thrilling experiences and create visually stunning animations. Whether it is in art, science or technology, curves do play a crucial role in en enhancing our understanding and ability to interact the world around us. Now, this is basically a generic idea of curve. Now we will understand why important is curves in terms of differential geometry coming in this part of the video. I will just take few important points. First, I will tell you this actually builds a strong foundation. Now, you see curves serve as the fundamental building block of differential geometry. If you don't learn it, simply speaking, you won't understand anything. Now, understanding curves is very crucial because they are the simplest geometric objects that can be studied in the field. By learning about curves, you gain a solid foundation for comprehending more complex geometric structures such as surfaces and higher dimensional manifolds. The second thing is what is called parametrization. Now, you see curves are often defined by parametric equations which describe their position as a function of a parameter. I have dealt with parametrization in my earlier videos. Learning about curves involves understanding a concept of parametrization and how it relates to the geometry of the curve. Parametrization allows uh, uh, us to do precise calculation of the important properties such as tangent vectors, curvature, arc along the length of a curve. 
The third more imp important is tangent vectors. As you see, tangent vectors plays a very fundamental role in differential geometry and their understanding is very intimately related to the concept of a curve. Now, tangent vectors provide information about the direction and the rate of change of a curve at a point. By learning about this, you can gain an insight into geometric interpretation of tangent vectors and their relationship with the curve's behavior. Third, uh, uh, sorry, the fourth one is curvature. Curvature is basically very fundamental to geometric property associated with curves. It measures how the curve deviates from being a straight line. Learning about curves allows you to understand and calculate curvature, which provides valuable information about the smear, shape, smoothness, and bending behavior of the curve. Curvature is a very key concept in many areas of mathematics, and its applications are many in terms of physics and engineering. The last one would be a kind of a geometric interpretation. This is also very important because studying curves helps you to understand uh, geometric intu intuition. You develop a kind of a geometric intuition. You visualize and working with curves again gains a deeper understanding by their behavior and properties. Then comes the application. The concept of curves has many applications, as you understand, including scientific and engineering fields. Uh, in computer graphics, uh, curves is used to model and render smooth shapes animation. Robotics also use curves for employed for motion planning. And by learning curves, actually in differential geometry, you gain the necessary mathematical tools to apply these concepts in practical applications. You also prepare a lot for advanced uh, uh, topics because Advanced topics in differential geometry like surfaces, manifolds, and high dimensional geometries use this. So, understanding curves in one word provides the basis for understanding these more complex objects and the geometric concepts associated with them. Now, this is basically the importance of curves in differential geometry. Now, you, it might be going on right in your mind that can I skip curve? As you can understand, it is almost a no. Now, now what we are we would like to discuss a little bit is about that the essential properties or what are the things which actually moves around in uh, understanding curves coming up in the next part of our video. So, curves are basically the central pivotal idea for differential geometry. I will just give you a quick example, then I will move to the move to the books. So, you see, this is basically curves allow us to approximate our arbitrarily smooth manifolds locally. This is important. By studying the behavior of curves on a manifold, which we will look later, you can gain insights into the geometric as well as topological properties of the manifold in the vicinity of the curve. Differential geometry equations, yes, uh, curves are closely related to solutions of differential equation on manifolds. Many physical and mathematical phenomena can be used, described by using differential equation and the study of curves helps us to understand and solve this equation. For example, geodesics and other things. Here comes geodesics and minimal surfaces. Curves are essential for studying geodesics, which are paths of shortest distance between two points on a manifold. Geodesics are crucial in various areas, general relativity, robotics, and other. Uh, most importantly, curves play a central role in the study of minimal surfaces, which are surfaces with the property of minimizing area. And curves are very important in terms of this. Lastly, I would like to speak about global topology. The study of curves actually helps you to uncover important global topological properties of manifold. For instance, closed curves or loops can be used to detect holes and handles in a manifold and the connectivity of curves provides insights into the connectivity of the underlying manifold. So, by uh, learning the uh, curves, you gain an understanding of what is called a global topology. So, these are the importance of curves in terms of differential geometry. You see that in general, in our daily life, why curves are important and why curves are almost a kind of a mandatory thing in learning differential geometry. Now that we have understood everything, let us move into the book part. Right. The f uh, question is that which book shall you read? And this is the answer. Marco Abbott and Francisco Tovena's 
curves and surfaces and these are the authors uh, uh, mostly working in Rome and Italy and you can go to their uh, Google Scholar and uh, Marco Abbott has got a uh, uh, several you know uh, papers in differential geometry on ARXIV you can check it out so why I am selecting this book I will come to the honest answer but to be very honest with you after searching and doing a research a lot of books I found this is the best book I won't say one of the best book this is the best book available in terms of learning curves and surfaces okay the question is that why you should read this book coming up in this next part of the video you see first of all this book as I've gone through each and every pages it is exactly written in the manner that you need that means some books say a lot of things uh, more nothing less so it is absolutely exact whenever you search in internet anything about the topics of curves and surfaces whatever you will see is covered in the video so nothing more nothing less second is that the book is structured and designed in a very scientific manner i mean to say it is absolutely right for you to go through that it contains the it contains the much matter topics and mathematics as required to study nothing in excess that means it contains only that much matter of topics which is required nothing in excess the book assumes as i told i've been telling that you don't need to learn this 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 so no mathematical prerequisites are required except differential equations and the basic mathematics so it doesn't assume that you know topology or anything and most importantly the book contains certain supplementary materials which includes proofs and other advanced topics as you will see that when you go through this book there are certain advanced topics or proofs which are not required while you are going through the chronology of study but in order to learn them more these have been provided as supplementary if you want you can go otherwise you can skip so this is the very well structured uh, scientifically structured exactly the matter that you need nothing more nothing less now the question is that what is the content of the book let us see in the next part of the video so first of all i would like to show you some of the remarkable features why i am suggesting this book you see i have just underlined here it says that we do not that means the authors do not require you have to be exposed to algebraic topology so for this section 2.2 contains a complete introduction to a theory of degree for continuous maps because this is something which is required so they will give you the book will give you an understanding of the continuous maps or whatever is required next thing is that you see here each chapter comes with several guided problems that is solved exercises both computational right one of the nicest features and a more theoretical character and most importantly here you see you might have noticed another feature peculiar to this book we address you directly dear reader why because there's a pre precise reason we want to feel you actively involved in reading this book wow that's a wonderful thing actively involved a mathematical textbook no matter at what level this is this and here you see in the last line in order to learn mathematics it is enough not enough to read it you must do mathematics the style we adopted in this book is chosen to urge you in this direction that means there will be several exercises which you can do so these are few of the remarkable features and here is another one you see that it is written that uh, um, this book extremely this is this and it sometimes is hard to find books the supplementary material appended to each chapters display a choice we go for complete proofs of the jordan curve theorem and so on okay now the question is that where you will find this book now you see if i have done an extensive search you won't find it in amazon only place to find it is directly to the springer links website and you get the book curves and surfaces and to your utter surprise this is quite costly 53.49 euro i mean to say it's quite a costly book but don't worry i will be giving you this book i will just tell you how at the end of this video right now we will move to the content of the book and first i would like to show you the table of contents then i will show you certain features but because the book is quite huge i won't be able to show you each and every page but by that time you will be able to understand how beautiful this book is arranged first it starts with local theory of curves now local and global as i have been telling there are two theories one is this is the local theory of curves so first it starts with how to define a curve arc length curvature and torsion and there are problems and supplementary material then it moves from local to global very sequentially as you understand tubular neighborhoods jordan curve theorem turning uh, tangents theorem and again exercises 
then it moves to the local theory how to define smooth functions etc then there are guided problems onto that and then it moves to curvature where the first fundamental form galsus uh, theorem egregium principal gaussian mean curvatures all these things are dealt with okay then it moves finally to geodesics vector fields etc then there are exercises then it moves to galsus bonnet theorem triangulations etc exercise and supplementary then is close to global theory of surfaces and finally concludes with exercises and reference and list of symbols so you see everything that you need to learn about curves and surfaces are covered over here nothing more nothing less absolutely up to the content now we will move up to the content part of the book Okay, what are the some important features? Here it comes. The first thing that you see is this one, how to define a curve. So it starts with this, right? And what is a curve uh, since we are, uh, you know, uh, in a ma mathematical textbook rather than about a military history. And then it starts with this. Then it goes into what is an arc length. That is a basic foundation of differential geometry, right? How do you find the arc length? Then it further moves into, you see, this is a Frenet theorem. So there are good amount of illustrations. Then there are guided problems. Here you see, this is an epicloid and cycloid. Everything cleanly given. Then there is curvature and torsion. And you see, this is a compact uh, uh, one submanifold which is given. Further, if we move, you see that this is a degree of curve in S1. So before moving into first fundamental, the S1 part is created. Then the first fundamental form comes. Here are certain uh, important features like how to define a curve and surface it with constant positive curvature, things like that. I'm to say uh, there are a lot many, but if I start showing page by page, possibly it will go for more than two, three hours. So. This is most importantly the feature of the book. Uh, what I can tell you is that we can tell that it is a must read to master your foundations in terms of curves and surfaces. I would suggest you to go sequentially. It is very easy to read and understand, covers everything related to curves and surfaces and one of the best books to start with learning differential geometry. So having said this, now the question arises, how will I get these books? Yeah, follow these steps and do not skip any chapter. That is important. So the question is that, how will I get this book? So nothing uh, to worry about. All you need to do is to subscribe to my channel and you can email me that you have uh, watched this video with the lesson number so that there are 17, 18 lessons. I won't be able to understand which book you are asking and which lesson. Or you can contact me through my WhatsApp number. What I will do is that I will share the book in the Google Drive. So before going ahead, I would like to tell you that this is one of the best books, but do not skip it. Read it sequentially. I'm very, very thankful for those who have watched my video. Thank you very much for watching and supporting me. Please click on the uh, subscribe button to subscribe to my channel Physics for Students. Click on the bell icon to get all the notification from Physics for Students. The same email ID persists over here and you can subscribe to my other channel, General Relativity Explained, which is exclusive to Einstein General Theory of Relativity. And further, you can follow me on my Insta Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn channel. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. This is an absolutely great book. I would recommend to go ahead and read and it covers everything. Physics for Students will be back with more such suggestions to make life easy and make differential geometry a very interesting subject to read with. Stay tuned with this channel. Till then, up till the next time, goodbye and may the good Lord be with you.